chili pot. Damn it, you will see. It's a whole lot of fun for your family. Grab your granny and your daddy too. We've got a lot of gaming for you. I need to kill you, be a real bum burner, but my gaming skills are a real head turner. Chili pot gaming, you will see. It's a whole lot of fun for your family. Yeah. Hey, you doing, guys? Welcome back to Chili Game. Welcome to Nothing to Something. Our series on FIFA 23, it's kind of like a route to glory where we start with nothing on FIFA 23. We thought we now FIFA points, anything like that, and we see by the end of FIFA 23 what team we are able to create. I mean, so far, I don't think we're doing too bad. If you haven't seen any of these episodes so far, guys, please check them out on my channel. But we're doing good. I do believe we're doing good. I don't think we're doing too bad at all so far. But this episode... I don't think, I mean, I, some, some things happen, I mean, some things, good things happen in my opinion, so as you can see, we're looking for the SBCs here. And I have a quick look, I did not know, Ross Barkley had an SBC, where he's obviously at Nice right now in real life. And it looked very tempting, you know, unfortunately I can't afford right now, because you need an 83 rated squad, an 84 rated squad, an 85 rated squad, which I can't afford right now. There's a Gary Middell, which also looks very tempting, if you guys know any of these SBCs, Please leave a comment below. I would love to know which SBCs you have completed. There's a foul care which looks very good too. There's so many good cards. Guys on SBCs so right now. I'd love, I'd love to do them, but unfortunately, I just haven't got the. T I mean, I just haven't got the players to trade in at the moment. Unfortunately, to do them. But I see there's a spooky matchups, which I thought for Halloween. Why not give it a go? It looks very tempting. You get a prime gold players pack, which I thought was mean. You don't know what you could get in. You just have like, no idea what you might be able to get into it. And I thought. I kept looking through and I thought, this, this spooky matchups, this marquee, you mean spooky matchups, he's just calling me. I thought, I've got to give you spooky matchups a go. I just thought, I've got to give it a go and see what you might be able to pack out of it. Because I mean, you just never know if you guys have done your spooky matchups. Please leave a comment down below on who you packed out of it. What was your best pack you got out of these spooky matchups? Or maybe you mean best player? I'd love, I'd love to know, guys. But yeah, guys, you see, we've got 10,000 coins right there before we got into the uh, spooky matchups SBC. We do spend a lot of it. I must admit, we do spend a lot of it, unfortunately. But hey, it's, it's one of them. But like I say, I mean, we do, we do spend a lot of coins, but hey, you know what? It's one of them, guys. It's one of them. I mean, hopefully, by the end of the episode, when we open the packs, you never know. We might be able to get our money back at least. As long as we make the 10,000 coins back, I'll be happy. But I mean, of course, I want to make more than the 10,000 coins, obviously, if I can. But that's the first team we commit there into the SBC. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty training, but maybe a few too many rare players. But oh well. I mean, at this moment, I'm never going to use them because I mean, I've got that Brazilian team with some Premier League players in some Serie A. I mean, you've got Anderson Taliska, we've got Richarlison. I just don't think I'm honestly going to um, step away from that team right now. I think I'm going to try and improve that team. So I don't mind losing some of these players. I mean, I know I'm probably putting too many good players in maybe that you could probably use in a different SBC. But uh, it's one of them, I suppose, unfortunately. But as you can see, we're going to do the second one here. We, you know, we, we've put in the 83s of Pata, which I suppose maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have held him back, like I say, for another SBC. But... It's too late, you know, and it's too late now, so, unfortunately, it's one of them. I mean, I can't really do much at this moment to about it anymore, so. Looking back at it, I should have probably tried to use some cheaper players, but here we go. Here's the next one getting done. We've got a couple of bronzes in there. We've got a Hamsich. We've got a Pepe, the Arsenal man who's on loan at Nice. We've got Aaron Ramsey who's at Nice. I mean, Nice seem like they've got a good squad. I must admit, they've got, I mean, Casper Smoykel, Ramsey, Barkley, I mean, Pepe. They've got some really good players there at the moment, it looks like. So here we go, we're gonna, we've got three packs out of four there, we're just going to do the last SBC, Zombies vs Brains, so we can finish these spooky matchups, SBC off. And you mean, like I say, hopefully, guys, by the end of the episode, I mean, hopefully, we might get some really, really good players, you just never know what we might be able to pack, here we go, here's the last one we're going to have trading. I mean, nothing too bad, I don't think I've traded in there, really, I'm going to go to Bertley now, who's now at Fulham, who left Arsenal, but I... I don't think it's too bad, I don't think. But as you can see, you go, spooky matchups complete. One prime goal players pack. Thank you very, 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 very much. I will happily take that. We get we, we get, we get the um, one objective done get quickly here, so we can see what we get. We get so 1,500 coins. I will happily take that. I mean, we get back up to some coins. Now we've got 1,700 coins there. Here we go, we're going to open our rewards. Which one do I pick? Do I pick untradables? Do I pick the untradables with coins? Or do I pick tradable? I decided 
which I don't know if it was the best idea to do. I decided to just pick the tradable one where you got the one jumbo premium pack and the one gold booster pack. Maybe maybe looking back I should have probably picked the last option where you got the four thousand coins and the packs when I done tradable, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. But here you go, guys. We're going to jump into our first Division Rivals game of the episode. Let's see what his team is going to be. What team has he got? He has got a Courtois, a flashback Tiago Silva, a wan a Kessie, a Tumini, a Sterling, a Haaland, a Dembele. Oh, my God, guys. I'm in Division 8, and he wasn't expecting to come against a team like that. But, oh, Taliska. Uh, I think I should have done better with that chance. I do. I do think I should have done better with that chance. But oh well. Today's goes through. There we go, guys. One nil against his amazing team. Already, I, I, I'm shocked, guys. I can't believe that I got one nil up early on in the match against his team. I must admit, because he, he, he was a very good favourite player, and he had, like I say, he had an amazing team. Here we go, Tlaiska again. Richarlison. Richarlison to Danilo. To Tlaiska. Oh, how did I miss that chance, guys? How did I miss that chance? Oh, my days. I shot it straight at the keeper. Here we go, Haaland. Haaland's away. Look how quick he is. Oh, my days. He's away. He passes it back. Dembele. Usman Dembele makes it 1 1. Oh, my defending was a bit bad there. My defenders were, I mean, I think, I think they went to the shops. I mean, we left with a lot, a lot of space open there, I must admit. Here we go. Back in for again. He's got Sterling. Sterling. Great save, De Gea. He was trying to get top corner there with his finesse, but De Gea plucked it out. There we go, too many. Haaland, Haaland, Dembele, De Bruyne, Post, Wambisaka. Oh, of course, Wambisaka would have to be there. I mean, we, we got very fortunate he hit the post. There we go, Wambisaka had to be there, and here's Dembele. He's going to make it free. What a save, De Gea. He's on fire. Here we go, Haaland, Haaland. Great save again, De Gea. As you can see, like I said, he was a very good player. He had 14 shots to me for. So that tells you everything. But I mean, like I say, his team was incredible. You see his team, you mean... Oh, I wish I had a team like that. Oh, man. But as you can see, we make some changes right here. We're going to bring in Ronaldinho for Sancho. And we also bring in Onin for Fred. Which I was hoping might change a little bit. I mean, as you're going to see, it might do, it might not do. But I thought it might change the matchup a little bit to help us. But Haaland's through again. Chiesa. Chiesa's through. Back to Haaland. Haaland. Oh, dear God. It's with 3-1 down. Haaland scores now. I mean, the man in real life can't stop scoring goals. He's scoring goals for in real life. And now he's, he's also doing it on FIFA 23. It, it's so hard to stop. Oh, my days, guys. Oh, my days. Here we go. Talisca. Richarlison. Richarlison. Yes, there we go, guys. We're back in it, hopefully. 3-2 now in the 67th minute. Richarlison scores. Let's go. Oh, my days. We get a replay here. Richarlison gets the ball. Here we go. First time shot. Oh, I think his keeper could have saved that. He might, if I must be. A, oh, I think his keeper was sad. But Ronald Daniel's through. Ronald, can he get away from the defender? Okay, he's quicker than Silver somehow. There we go, Ronaldinho. Let's go. I mean, I've got to go on loan. I'm going to so sad when we're losing because he's so good. But Ronaldinho there gets the goal for us. He makes it 3 3. Oh, my days, guys. What a lovely goal there from Ronaldinho. Top corner, too. Side netting. I don't think Courtois was ever getting into that one, I must admit. Oh, my days, what a finish from Ronaldinho. Here we go. Alneen's on the ball. Alneen. Richarlison. Richarlison. Come on. Get away, Richarlison. Can he put it away? He does. He somehow slots it underneath Courtois. And from being 3-1 down, we're now 4-3 up. Oh, my days, the scenes. Oh, my days, how have we done this so far? I mean, let's hope and pray we can get the win somehow. But most of us must say, he was a really, really good faith player. But here we go. Oh my days, 86 minutes, oh no, Danilo loses the ball, Havertz, Insigne, oh, I messed up guys, as you can see I messed up there, my defending was shocking, my defending was poor, but I must make a good finish there from Insigne, and like I say he was a really good player, to be fair, I do believe, oh, I can't believe many talk for, but I mean, I do honestly probably think, in my opinion, because he, like he was a very good player, I think he should have honestly probably won the match. I was very lucky to get back into it. I mean, I'll happily, happily, happily take the draw. I mean, four each. But I do think he, he, he definitely deserved to win the match, in my opinion. That that, that, that was a definite. He, he deserved to win the match. I mean, he had 19 shots to me, seven. I had more passes somehow. I mean, he made more tackles. It was a very good match. I mean, very good match. I'm happy I got the draw out of the match. But... I do feel thing with his team and everything else, I mean, the way he was playing, because like I say, he was a good faith player. I feel bad for him, mate. I mean, I do believe he should have won that match. 
I mean, I don't know how, honestly, I was able to get back into it. I really don't. But here we go. We jump into the next match. Next match up. We've got Martinez, Stones, Chilwell, Bruno Fernandes, Jamie Vardy, Sancho, Saka. Not as good as the last team, but it's still a very solid team. I can't lie. Here we go. What have we got here? A Fernandes. Mason Mount. Oh, he put it in the roof of the net. Mason Mount there. We go 1-0 down again. Oh, dear, guys. We're struggling this episode. We're struggling this episode. Saka. Here we go. Can we get out? Oh, no. Jamie Vardy. No, no, no. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Mason Mount. He scored again. Oh, no. We were 2-0 down in 10 minutes, guys. Oh, dear me. We've got Mountain to climb in this match. Oh, dear, dear me. We go Taliska. Can Taliska put it away? Oh, he hit it straight at the keeper. He hit it straight at the keeper. Oh, no, Taliska. No. Richardson. Bicycle kick. Let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. 2-1. Oh, I've finally scored a quarter, guys. On FIFA 23. Let's go. Yes. We make it 2-1 there. You can see the stats. We had four shots to his seven. Uh, we, I mean, we're struggling a little bit this match. I mean, this, this, this episode, we're struggling a little bit. But I mean, look, another good FIFA player. I can't believe I actually scored a corner on FIFA 23, finally. And now, what a save from the guy. He somehow got to it. He plucked it out the sky. He leapt like a salmon. There we go. Savio. Taliska. Let's go, Taliska. 2-2. Two, two. Yes. Oh, my days, guys. We're somehow pulling it back again. We're somehow clawing back again. Taliska again with another goal. Let's go. He's so good, guys. We're going to make some more substitutions here. But I mean, oh, my days. Taliska is so good. Let's go, guys. We're somehow put it back to 2-2. Two, two. We're going to bring on Gordon for Sancho. Because I thought, I mean, I want to give Gordon a go. I don't I don't think I'm going to have to get rid of him at some point. But I just want to give him another go. And bring on Oscar for Bruno Gomez. Which I must mean, Oscar, in my opinion, still still good in his squad. But nothing else really happened in the match. It finished 2-2, two, two, which I'll happily, happily take. After being 2-0 down, we had 8 shots to his 12. We had a couple more passes again. I mean, a very good matchup. A very solid matchup. I mean, like another another really good favourite player. And somehow again, guys, we somehow claw out another draw. I don't know how we go, but we're going to move into the last episode. Last episode, the last match episode. You can see you've got Modric, an out of position stretch, a Benzema, a De Bruyne, a Haaland. Oh my days, guys. Oh my day. Another great team. But Sancho, can you score? Near post. Let's go. Sancho gets a goal in the 30th minute. Come on, Sancho. That's what I need from you, Sancho. I need more goals from you, Sancho. You mean you're a good player? I do like you on his FIFA, but I need you to get more goals from me. I mean, I don't, I don't, I might have to replace you maybe because sometimes you're a bit inconsistent. But a bit. I honestly thought, guys, when I, when I played this, I honestly thought that was in. But somehow we put it wide. Haaland's in now. Great save, Degaya. Let's go. Come on. Oh, now Ben's in my bit. Great save again, Degaya. We're holding with the skin of our teeth here. The skin of our teeth we're holding in. Haaland. Great save again, Degaya. Let's go. What a save. Oh, my days. Here we go. What's going to happen now? They've got a corner. Here we go. I think, oh, now he's going to Benzema. Oh, I don't know if Degaya should have saved that. I must admit. Oh, no. I think the guy could have done better with that one. But oh well, 45th minute, Benzema scores the header. Oh, that's a poor one to concede. I think the guy could have got to that. He, I think he could have stretched a bit more, to be honest, in my opinion. But he's had nine shots to me, six. I do, oh, I do think that the guy could have got to that one. But like I say, guys, another solid FIFA player. But he's got an amazing team. I mean, he had out of position trade, a Benzema, a De Bruyne, a Haaland. See, I can't believe we're in Division 8 and people have got amazing, amazing teams. They've got so good teams. Remember, we've got Rodrigo here for Sancho. I thought, I mean, right, even though I thought the pace down the left hand side with Rodrigo might help out. Here we go, Almond's on the ball. He's got Firmino. Firmino's going through. What a goal from Roberto Firmino there. He makes it 2 1. Oh, now, guys, we've, 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 got, we've got a mountain to climb again here in this matchup. Can we do it? I don't know. But here we go. A lovely finish there from Roberto for me now. The Liverpool man. But here we go. Come on, Taliska. Richarlison. Richard. I still can't believe how I put it wide, guys. I don't know how I put it wide. Oh, no, but we lose 2 1, guys. We lose 2 1. We couldn't claw back another draw. And we lose. In this match, oh, we had 13 shots in the end to his 11. We had the same amount of passes. He did way more tackles than I did. I had somehow had more possession, I had 54% of the ball, but unfortunately, we couldn't make the most of it and 
get another draw, Michael Say was a very good faith player again. We've had some really, really good faith players this episode, and also some really, really, really good teams, but unfortunately we couldn't get the win or a draw in that last match there. Ah, oh, but here we go, we're going to get, open up our objectives, we get seven objectives from completing their matchups, which I'll happily take, I mean, we get some, a few packs, I believe, we get to get some more season possessions done, we get some, we get some decent things, you can see, I mean, I do want to try and make some start, maybe, on some of these, um, milestone players, because they've been, Team Alpuki looks really good, to be fair, I don't, I don't think any good on the FIFA 23, but he does actually look really, really good, but here we go, we've got another pack there, we've got a Tifau, which we will happily take, and now, I believe, we're going to get into the packs, we're going to see, what we might be able to pack out of the packs that we've been able to get this episode. Oh, guys, here we go. We've got 75 to 83 rated pack here. Here we go. It's opening up. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. It's okay. I know it could have probably been better, but it, 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 it's a good start. It's a good start. Here we go. Second pack opening up. We've got a Gareth Bale, the former Real Madrid man, the former Tottenham man. Now we're LA Galaxy. No, sorry, not, not LA Galaxy. I can't think the team's calling out. Is it LA Galaxy? It might be. Oh, I'm, I'm, I can't think now, guys. If it isn't, please leave it down in the comments below who Gareth Bale plays for. Here we go. We've got the Croatian man there. 77 rated. Not too bad. We've got Martin Dubravka, who come from Newcastle to Man United, my club on loan. Which I mean, I'll, back, I'll take him as a backup number two keeper. Happily. Here we go. We've got another pack opened up here. What are we going to get in this one? A welcome pack. We've got an 84 Insigne. How happy to take that. As you've seen, he's 87. Was he 87 right? He's in the 88. I think 87. He, I mean, he scored a fantastic goal in that other match. We've got an icon loan there for uh, five games. We'll take, the, we'll take the legend. Here we go. Next pack. Opening up. Who are we going to get? We're going to get Aaron Ramsdale. I mean, I'll happily take that. The former Sheffield United goalkeeper. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I mean, I, I, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to take the gayer. But I'll happily keep him. He might, he might go into an SBC. I'm not too sure. Next pack. We get an Edin Dzeko. The former Man City man. The former Roman man. Man City man. Now we're into Milan. And we're getting inform. Our first inform of the series. Let's go. I don't know what I'm going to use him. I don't know if I'm going to team round him. But he don't seem too bad. I know he's not probably the best inform ever. But I don't know if to put him to an SBC or keep him. I have to, I have to work it out, guys. I might put him on the bench and use him as a super sub. I mean... Because I, I can't see him doing too bad. You know what I mean? Oh, also, as you can see, we're going to be putting a few players up for sale. I know some of them are going to be worth loads. That's why I keep some of them and sell some of them. But we, I think we're going to get some coinage back. I mean, you'll get to see at the end of the episode how much coinage we can sort of get back out of these packs we've opened up. Get another 450 coins there, which I'll happily take. I do sell some of these gold songs and whatever else. Because, I mean, I don't know those actually worth them. I don't actually know you could sell them. So I thought, I mean, I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. So let's get some we'll back up to 6,500 coins. Then, which, I mean, we're already doing not too bad at all. We're getting some coins back, which is happily, I'm really happy about. Next pack, opening up. We have got a Simeone. I mean, the new Napoli man. He moved, I think, in the summer, did he, I believe? Because I can't think who he played for now. He played for another Serie A club, and I can't think I can't think who the club is now. Oh, it, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, unfortunately. But we're going for the package, because we're going to put some more cards up for sale. Get some more coins, hopefully. You may never know. I, think, I can't see why some of these cards might not sell. I don't know if they will or not, but I can't see why they wouldn't. But here we go, we're going through it. I mean, I can't believe some Everton players are worth like a thousand coins. Each. I wonder what for. Because there's a lot of Everton players right now. I've gone up in price, which I'm not too sure why. I'll happily take it. But I'm not too sure why, guys. If you guys know why the Everton players are going up, please have a comment down below. Maybe it could be an SBC. It could be an objective. I'm not too sure. Unfortunately, I might have missed out and not realised, but we get a thousand coins off Tom Davis, so I'll uh, happily take it. Here we go, next pack. What we're going to get? We get the Braga man, Horta, 81 rated. Not too bad, I don't think. He seems like an okay player, seems like he's got some okay stats, I can't lie. Don't know if I'll use him ever, to be honest, but he don't seem too bad. So, another player for the club, so I can't complain one bit, really. We're going to open the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack here. What we're going to get? We get to Uno Simon, the uh, Bilbao keeper. Not too bad at all. I mean, I'm still amazed that 83 rated players and if you're not so early in FIFA are not worth anything, to be honest. I thought it'd be worth a couple more, I mean, a bit more than maybe like 800 coins, 1,000 coins, but hey, it's one of them. At least we can all make cheaper teams, I suppose, so can't complain. I mean, we're going to put Ginter up there for 500 coins, the 82 rated man. I've got Al Campos, the new Ajax man who left Sevilla. We put him up for sale. Got the uh, Napoli man there. I mean, not too bad at all. Got a shadow card there, which is very good. Got a Tifo. Got an Arsenal Stadium theme, which I think we put for sale. 
I do believe. Here we go, 350 coins, which not too bad at all. Put the badge up for sale, I don't know if the badge sells, but here we go, put the badge up. Not, not too bad at all. We would quick sell the manager leaf, because I don't think I'm ever going to use them, unfortunately. So here we go, last three packs. What are we going to get in this one? We're getting informed, guys. We get another informer team of the week. We get a walk out. We get a Castagne. The Leicester City man. The former Atalanta man. The right back at Leicester. What a card. I do think at some point I'm going to try and fit him into the team because he looks like a really, really good card. They're a solid card. He can play right wing back. He can play right back. He can play left back. What a card that is, guys. I'm going to have to try and somehow find a way, I think, to fit him into the team. We saw Joe Malley out there. For 550 coins, we've got Begovic there, we sell for 550 coins, not too bad at all. But man, I cannot believe, I cannot believe, guys, that we packed our second ever Team of the Week player. And, I mean, what a player to pack. 84 rated Leicester City man, the right back. I'll happily take that. Like I say, I would love to try and fit him into a team eventually. So, guys, if you'd like to make a team round him, please leave a comment in below who I can also bring into the team to make him work. That means we could give him full chemistry into maybe the team that we've got now. Or maybe a new team. Please let me know in the comments down below. But here we go. We've got two packs remaining. We've got a prime gold players pack and a prime mixed players pack. What are we going to get now? You never know what we could get. We get the Leipzig man there. The left back. I mean, it's unfortunately not worth anything. I mean, it's one of them. We'll keep with some of the players. I mean, they'll add to the club. Like I say, I mean, I suppose they'll probably go into SBCs. I can't know, I suppose. They'll probably will end up going to SBCs. But, oh well. I suppose it is one of them guys. We're going to put a couple more cards up for sale. We've got a couple more silvers that we're going to put for sale. Like I say, I mean, at least, I mean, all the coins help. If we can get more and more coins, why not? I mean, it all adds up, which is happily. I mean, I'll happily take it. Here we go. I think we we'll put the odd bronze player up for sale. Not too many, though, because I don't think they sell too good, to be honest. They all seem quite cheap now at 200 coins. I mean, I know the bronze pack method used to work, because I know a lot of speed for YouTubers just always going back to the bronze pack method. But as you can see, in the last pack, we get Nacho Fernandez, 82 rated, the Real Madrid man. We've got Mikel Antonio. Not too bad at all, to be fair. Very good player. Here we go. But we've got a fair few cars in this pack that we can, we can try and sell. We've got some that we can keep. So, I mean, it all helps. I mean, we've got some that we can put to SBC. We've got some players we can sell to get some money back. Happy, happy. I mean, I can't complain one bit, really, I don't think. Here we go. The Fulham man sells for 600 coins. There we go. Very nice indeed. Another 500 coins there. Another 500 coins. I mean, it all adds up, to be fair. It all adds up, which I can't complain about. I mean, we can get a couple of... Some nice coinage here that can really help him. We've got 20, near 22,000 coins, which I can't believe. I mean, we made, we made an okay bit of profit off that uh, SBC, so I'm, I'm very, very happy about that, guys. We've got two informs, which I cannot believe. I mean, I know that I think they both go pretty much for discard value, but I cannot complain one bit. I'm so happy we've got two informs. Here we go. We're going to see the stats now of my players so far in this series. I mean, Daniel's played 13 games now, goals yet. Shaw's got nothing yet. Two assists for Fred. Which, not, not too bad. I mean, Calvert Lewin's only played two games still. 13 goals, 12 assists for Richardson in 13 games. He's incredible, guys. He's so good. He, he's worked it so good for me on this game so far. As you can see, Rodrigo, two goals, four assists in seven games. Two goals, two assists for Oscar in eight games. 12 goals, six assists in 13 games for Taliska. As you can see, Richardson and Taliska have scored 25 goals for me so far, so I can't complain one bit about that. There you go. Gamera's got a goal and assist. Not too bad at all. Two goals, four assists for uh, Sancho. Two assists there, Savio. De Gea, I mean, as goes, he's now played 13 matches for us. Son's got a goal in two games. So not too bad at all, guys. I don't think we're doing too bad at all. I mean, I think it was a very good episode. I mean, we, got, we did the uh, spooky matchups, SBC. Played a couple matches. Unfortunately, we lost the match. But I think we did quite well to come back in the matches that we did, could, that we did come back in. Because some of them teams are really, really good, I must admit. And yeah, guys, we've got two informs, we have back up 22,000 coins. I can't complain. I think it's been a very, very good episode, guys. But if you've enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell so you don't miss a video like this on my channel. If there's any place you'd like to see me ring in, or if anything like you'd like to see me do in this series, please leave a comment down below. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next video. Bye, guys.